to learn about the religion Islam. In today changing the world, we all need to understand each other faiths and religious perspectives uh, to make a safe and healthier society. The Kavriya Trust in Spark Hill, Birmingham hosted an event where a group of 16 trainee Bappis church ministers visited. The trainee ministers attended to meet a group of Muslim community people to learn about Islam and to see how Muslims practice their religion. This was an excellent opportunity to encourage good multi-faith relationships and show that we can build stronger peaceful communities together by working side by side united. Gave the same message. Ismail al Islam gave the same message, and Asyidna uh, Isa Ruhullah Ala Nabi Al Islam Islam gave the same message. Musa Al Islam Islam gave the same message, and our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam gave the same message. That worship one Allah Zawajal, there is no more. I'm the Reverend Richard Sudworth um, from Christ Church Sparkbrook, um, working with the Church of England. And it's been a pleasure to be here at the Cadre Trust. Uh, they are friends and neighbours, and it's important for me as a Christian leader um, that our congregations, that Christians uh, who worship God, uh, get to know other faiths, um, and especially in this day and age, our Muslim neighbours, people with a faith, people who pray, and there's lots in common, lots to, to know that's, that, that's shared, also uh, some important differences. And I know our friends at the Cadre Trust have always provided a good welcome and generous hospitality for that mutual learning. And it's, it's been a great privilege to be here yet again. What is the uh, interfaith? What does it mean? What does interfaith mean? It means people of different faith communities living together peaceably, learning about one another, uh, respecting our differences but also finding those things that we share as human beings who live in this one planet under the guidance of the one God. What is guidance for the uh, interfaith dialogue? I think each tradition will have its own guidance for dialogue but I think in my own experience the most important thing is to listen carefully. Too often I think as people of faith we have plenty of things to say uh, but sometimes our speaking gets in the way of our listening. So the first thing in dialogue is to listen carefully and then we can speak intelligently. What, what, what is uh, uh, interfaith dialogue is importance? I think it's important because so often in our world today there is too much misunderstanding and misrepresentation of the different traditions. So we misunderstand each other uh, and therefore mistakes happen and we don't understand properly. So d dialogue contributes to our mutual understanding and enables us to live together as good neighbours. How, how, uh, how can we build a, a great relationship between all religions? I think it will take time and I think we have to give each other time to let to know each other and to find things that we can work together for our mutual benefit and for the good of whole society. So I think to find some projects for the good of the community, to share in the education of our children and bringing up the next generation, those things will build a good society for the future. What's your message uh, about today, Gatry? Well, let me just introduce myself. I'm Dr Nicholas Wood. I'm here with a group of students from Regents Park College, which is part of Oxford University. The students I bring are all learning to be Christian ministers, to be leaders in the Christian church and it's important for them in our society today to learn not only what it means to be a good leader within the church but how they can lead their people in conversation with other people in the community. So it's been a great experience to have the hospitality of the Cadre of Trust today. We're very grateful indeed for the warm welcome we've had and for the helpful explanations we've been given about Islam and its faith and traditions. We're very grateful, thank you. Hello, my name is Jackie and I come here to the mosque today as a student uh, because I am training to be a minister in a church, a Baptist church, and so this is part of our training to come and experience what it's like to come into a different faith community. And it's been good to be here today to 
uh, watch as the people come to prayer, uh, to listen to some of the history and to be able to uh, take of your generosity and provision for us and time to explain your faith to us. So it's been good to be here and I thank you for that hospitality. It's very nice. Uh, we got a good welcome and a good message. And uh, I hope that particularly the students who are not familiar with the tradition have learned something, you know, have opened up to something that, you know, they, they never knew or never experienced. It's always very important to come to the worshipping place of people. You know, that experience is unique. It gives you more than what you read about them. So I think it was a good experience. I thank one and only our God for bringing me, for bringing me here today. I just feel that I can um, sense his presence and hearing um, uh, the word from people and seeing how they were praising God just made me like oh yes uh, our God is great and how they were saying um, Allahu Akbar and I was trying what is this and then later I felt like you know I was I interpreted my in my own way saying Lord be glorified something God is glorious and later I asked it is something like yeah God is great and this is a wonderful experience and um, I'm just so pleased to be here oh, hello I'm very pleased to be here this afternoon and to visit this community uh, it's been very good to uh, to observe the prayers and to have an opportunity to uh, speak together and to learn a bit more about your community's practice and to see some of the things that we share in common as people of faith and I thank you very much for your welcome and for your hospitality today. My name is Ruth and I'm a Baptist minister in training from Harefield and uh, I want to thank you very much for having me today. I've had a wonderful experience and I feel that I've learned so much more about um, Islam and about your faith than I knew before and I hope that this will help me in my ministry and with the people that I meet that we might work better together, know one another better and um, create a much better world for ourselves and our children. So thank you for the warm welcome and I've really enjoyed my experience here. Today we had a delegation from a Christian church and they were the forthcoming uh, priests who were attending the college. And I think we had a very interactive meeting uh, and uh, we were able to have a uh, conversation where we can reflect about Islam and also to develop a good understanding. There is always a myth where people think Muslims are only terrorists or they are extremists. Extremist. I think these kind of activities allow us to have a good relationship and to break down that myth. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Salatu wassalamu alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulullah. Today we've had a delegation from the Sparkbrook Church along with uh, Richard Sudworth and his colleagues who are learning to become priests and Qadir Trust has demonstrated a very diverse and open policy to invite them here to uh, observe us praying and also give a brief, brief description about Islam, how we live our lives, how we should live our lives and also uh, that the uh, any questions they had, we were able to answer them. Uh, Alhamdulillah, everything went very well. Uh, may Allah's blessing be upon Qadriya Trust and all of, all the team, especially Peer Muhammad Tayyibur Rahman for his guidance. Jazakallah khair.